Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how tables, graphs, and equations are three different ways of displaying the exact same information. So when you are looking here, let's start with an equation, um, x cubed minus 2x minus 5. So this equation has lots of different values. Um, and actually, there's a nice feature of Desmos where you can plug in, you can tell Desmos what you want to plug in. So it's telling you that when you plug 3 into this equation, you get out 26. We can see that in a table. So a table gives you a whole bunch of those values plugged in and the values that come out. So the inputs and the outputs just shown nicely here. Often we have a table increase by one on X so that we can look at how it's increasing on the Y axis or uh, as how the dependent variable changes based on the independent variable. So we have the independent variable change consistently by one so we can look for a pattern. However, that's not required. Um, so you could make your table entry literally have any number you want, and it will show the corresponding um, Y value. So a table is just a collection of a whole bunch of just previously chosen inputs, and then their corresponding outputs. We just often make them increase by one to look for patterns. Now, in this case, um, it's clear that this table only gave us seven inputs and outputs. What the graph does is show you all of them. There's infinitely many. Um, in between every number you can think of, there's another number. So what the graph does is it shows you every single one and the input and the output. Again, if we want to look at how a graph is changing, we go as we move from left to right. So that would be as we increase values in the table, what's happening to the y value of the function. So this function, as we move from left to right, is increasing, decreasing, and then increasing again. And if we looked at how the numbers are changing here, we would notice a similar pattern. So the different displays of information or the different, the table, the graph, the equation is really based on what questions you're being asked, what would be the most useful. And the equation can give us some things that maybe can't be as easily displayed on the graph. So if we're not using decimals, it might be difficult to see what the y value is when f is one, but that's why the equation can help because we can just plug in one for x and we can see what y value we would get out when f is one. The other thing the equation can do is we could work backwards and say, I want to know at what x value the y value is 27, and we could just plug 27 in for y and solve for x. So sometimes the equation gives us a little more flexibility when we're looking for a specific point on the graph and we don't want to have to deal. The table and the equation more allow us to see how the function is changing overall.